If you guys haven't seen my recent video where I broke down not only what Minecraft's new buffet world generation mode is, but where I also broke the feature in lots of different ways as well, be sure to check out the video that I have linked above. In today's video, I want to break it even harder and in a couple of different ways. First off, I want to see what happens when we use the glitched infinite cave system seed in this mode, and as well, I want to show off how you can generate a buffet world with nether-like terrain, which as of right now, doesn't exist in the menu for Snapshot 18w16a. So let's go ahead and let's get right into it. So if you guys aren't aware of what I'm about to get into, let me give you a little refresher. When you generate a Minecraft world, you have the ability to manually input a seed to determine how your world will generate. Whatever you type in will be converted into a number and it'll feed a ton of different math equations for almost everything that appears in your world. But with some seeds, such as this one, it causes the math to actually break, allowing for cave systems that infinitely repeat along one of the world's axes to appear. And and that world seed works the same way with Minecraft's buffet mode. Pop in the seed, use buffet mode, and there you go. Infinitely repeating cave systems galore. Where this glitch gets really interesting is when we try to generate an ocean world with the end island preset. As of the most recent snapshot anyways, when you create a buffet world in this fashion, the submerged caves and ravines still generate in midair. And because this world seed also affects submerged caves and ravines, what we get is nothing short of pure insanity. If you want to try this out for yourself, Themselves, just know that you're not going to get a good frame rate at all because of all of the water that's constantly updating all around you. But hey, if this isn't enough insanity for you, then why not try creating a buffet world with the nether noise map, which again, as of right now, doesn't exist within the in-game menus. So let me show you how. In a video that I have linked above right now, I go into great detail as to how you can open up your world's level data file and modify the contents within. So first up, create a buffet world in creative mode with the biome that you want to inhabit the nether. Then close the world, open the world's level data file and modify this line from whatever it is to Minecraft colon nether. Then delete the world's region folder so that it has to recreate all of the terrain and then reopen the world. What'll appear in front of you is a world that has the original biome that you selected, but it'll generate with the nether noise map instead. And you can do this with literally every single biome selection that buffet mode offers. While a lot of the foliage that this biome would otherwise have will be missing because the sky isn't visible, this mode is certainly a lot of fun to mess around with. And yes, the infinite cave system seed does also work with this mode as well. If you guys find any really interesting combinations that I didn't show off in this video, be sure to let me know on twitter.com slash antvenom or on my Discord server at discord.gg slash antvenom. All right, there is one more thing that I wanted to cover before I end off the video. A user on my Discord server actually informed me that customized worlds cannot be generated in the new 1.13 snapshots because they're specifically coded to not work in them anymore. While I'd like to believe that this is not a permanent decision by Mojang, something tells me because of this deliberately placed notice that it just might be permanent, which I feel is really unfortunate. But anyways guys, that just about does it for me for now. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like on it because it would really help out myself, the channel, and the video quite a lot. So I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Antvenom and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.